Hello, folks. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, how is everybody doing today? I am doing good. We're ready to wrap up, hopefully, another chapter in Edward's story in the after years today. However, I doubt my ability to actually finish this. <laughs> like, it has gone on for way too long at this point, And I'm just just hoping to kind of put a little bow on this and just send it on its way but we shall see we shall see anywho so today we're going to be grinding uh some money with edward and his crew and um hopefully when i get everybody equipped well it'll just make the next section go a lot faster so that's the intent uh let's get right to it then shall we Oh, shit. Got to do that. Oopsie dookie. Sorry, guys. All right, uh, do, do, do. Let's get right back to it, shall we? We're not making a ton of money this way either. I think we may actually have to go into the cave and uh, go there. Take care of that that way. Having the nice weapons is uh, making this go a little bit faster though, which is always good. He just had a weird, like, shower thought. And I'm not going to look it up because I personally don't care enough, probably, but... Um, it was a weird, like, just kind of... What is, what is the... It just kind of like a worm in my brain. Like, asking me, is there a difference between a cave and a cavern? Because I feel like... There should be. I think I need two new sets of armor, um, and considering Guard A is already fully equipped, basically, uh, we just need armor and a helm for the other two guards, and probably something for Harley. I know the guards each will need at least 1800 apiece. Um, Because the armor is a thousand and the um, helm is 800, I believe. We'll give the game this. This is probably the easiest grinding I've had to do all game. Considering they're all physical attackers. Um, and the enemies aren't particularly challenging at this point. This should go fairly well. Uh, I gotta remember too, I gotta make sure um, 
have enough items as well. Oh man. My sinuses today. Oof. This is exciting. This is the most exciting. This is another sore point I have with this game, is that grinding, especially for cash, is just... feels like a fool's errand. Like, there's no meaningful, like, burst. So there's no, like, say for example, one enemy party, or one type of enemy party, that just has like an ass ton of cash on them. And the thing is, is the way that this game was originally um, passed on in its episodic format, they didn't want anybody going through the episodes too quickly. So when I see this, not only is it an oversight, well, it's not an oversight at all. It's entirely by design and that's worse. At least to me it is. And they just decided instead of modernizing it or kind of changing it up for future releases, they just decided to retain it. And then in the release that they actually did change it up a little bit, um, they made the game inherently worse. Like, just the, and I'm talking about the Steam and DS ports. Like, those versions of the game have no excuse for existing the way they do. Absolutely zero. At least with this version, most of the qualms that I have with it, I can just call them annoying. And there's just, like, a bunch of them, so it's really just kind of like, oh, man. It sucks. But the, the DS and uh, PC versions that are, like, in, like, pseudo 3D are just asinine. Possibly one of the worst ports I've ever played. And I've played a lot. Like, it's it's verifiably awful. And I will be talking about it in, when I do get to a review for this. It's, it, it is just, I... And this, you can't even count it as lazy. Because... They remade it from the ground up. New graphics, new, like, uh, in some cases, new map layouts. Um, you know, like, all kinds of different stuff. And they managed to retain, like, a lot of the story, uh, at least for the chunk that I played. And they tried to make it, like, I, I don't want to say modernized, but they wanted to make it as close to, like, an actual RPG as opposed to a, an episodic game uh, as it was originally. So it's like, you know that they tried. They just didn't try hard enough. And there's not nearly as, like any love for the port whatsoever. So it's, it's like, well, okay, it's nice that you put some effort, but it's like, You, you needed to put in more. If you're gonna go this far, you need to put in more effort. Like, period. Just end the story. There's no way fans or bots about it. Okay, so I can equip one guy. Let's go and do that, actually. Oh, 
Oh. Like, when I first played it, and uh, because there was a di there were different versions of the game to get, like I've mentioned before, um, there were different versions of the game to get, and it just is an absolute shame. Uh, so we need iron shields for everybody, too. And then a bronze breastplate for Haley. Okay, so we need to equip, let's say, guard B here. And then uh, we can sell the armor left over. Gill band. Increases gill earned in battle by 1.5 times. Okay, that can help, actually. Let's go ahead and put that on. Was that what was on her before I put the uh, the silver armlet on her? So let's go for the long long bomb here and say let's get to three thousand. And we'll consider it good because we've got the 1800 for the last guard we need to get. Uh, then the four, like, let's say 500 for the bronze breastplate for Harley. And then, uh, some items. Enough money to get some items. So let's, let's call it that. second guys sorry about that all right not that you guys really noticed anything <laughs> um right can you check this out our auto attacks are all gonna be amped because of the moon phase figure I won't be able to get a ton with 3,000, but I'll get the bare minimum. I've got a ton of potions. Um, we don't really need to invest in high potions just yet, though I probably should because um, now that I'm thinking about it. Because, uh, what do you call it? Um, we don't really have a healer per se. I don't even know what what's her face's ability, Harley's abilities are gonna be. Like legitimately, I have no idea. And we're gonna t actually take a look at the gill earned from this battle and see if. Uh, give me an idea of what to expect. Well, 154 is not terrible. So 154 would mean basically 20 battles if I want to hit 3,000, or if I want to get 3,000 from now, like on top of what I already have, which honestly would not be terrible. And again, this is just like average because battles are going to fluctuate, I'm probably going to get less skill for this battle. No? <laughs> the exact same for one alligator. How about that? Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Is that just going to be the average for every battle? Oh. 
Oh, this one's gonna be a little bit better, I think. Ooh, I actually took a hit in this one. No, still 154. What the hell? Yeah, so that's just a... Uh... That's gotta be a dole out based on the enemy party, which still doesn't make any sense. And it's like with the multiplier from the, uh, whatchamacallit, Harley's accessory too, so I, nah, whatever. It's probably best that I just don't think about it. So I don't understand how an alligator, just the alligator alone, is 151 gil, but then the alligator with at least one other enemy is 154. So, I, I, I'm not sure I quite understand that. Okay, 220 for that one. Oh boy. <laughs> and check that out right on time. It, it's almost 220 in real time when I'm recording this. So that's, that's actually kind of hilarious. for at least 3,000. Call it good, but we're making good progress. Decent level, too, considering. Maybe if I move this a little bit closer. There we go. I feel like the captions aren't doing a great job of capturing, you know, what I actually am saying. Or it might be because my mic's not picking up the, uh, my voice. All that great. So, gotta fix that. Almost at 2,000. We're getting there.
Aww. No more attack boost. What are those? Okay, good. Uh, oh, we're so close. This is true entertainment here, folks. I like how the subtitles captured that and capitalized it. Alright, that's it. That's the one. We might actually be able to continue now. I mean, we're gonna one way or the other. Alright, let's, uh... Alright. So, oh, an iron shield. I forgot about those. Shit. Well, let's do what I had planned on doing. Let's see if there's enough for an iron shield. Yeah, there is. Alright, let's uh, equip. Okay. Let's go and sell some stuff, I guess. We got enough for one more. Did I not? Oh yeah, because I went and Autoed. I really should say sell that armlet. Oh, yeah, we have enough for one more, one more shield, and we might get close enough that we can do another. Guess we'll see. Moment of truth. Oh, come on. Alright. Forgot I had that. Alright. There we go. We are set to go. 
We don't really have enough for items, so... Let's hope we've got enough here. I mean, we've got a fair amount. Let's see what they're charging for everything. Uh, okay, we don't have cottages. Yeah, we don't really need cottages, honestly. Uh, let's see about elemental items, because we probably won't need them very much. We would definitely need that stardust. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, we don't need that. buy a bunch of anything. Uh, we need Phoenix Downs, yes. That's a starting point. How about we save outside the cave? And we'll uh, go as far as we can. Fights in the cave themselves should not be so, like, arduous that, uh... Shit. Should probably use a tent. Probably should have stayed at the end. <laughs> if I'm being honest. That's okay. Probably would have come to the exact same amount of money anyway. Now, let's save. <laughs> then if we need more, we can go back and be like, Hey, look, uh, let's do it to it. But we are more than equipped this time around. this arena at the very least um, will not pose a problem so I mean as we move into the next room uh, it might be different no way of knowing really but uh, we'll find out right now it is cakewalk city I suppose I should have done armor first, but I guess not, because having the weapons up means we get through battles quicker. It makes the, uh, the fighting a little bit easier to get through, I guess. Uh, alright. Okay, nice. Again, don't think we need a cottage, but uh, it's nice to have another another one along, as long as we don't have to spend for it. I mean, I'm not really hurting for mana. Still the same in enemy parties, so I think we'll be all right.
Wait, what did he say? I can't make my way through this current. Well, yeah, because it's a fucking waterfall. <laughs> Wait, there's a chest down here. Oh, two of them. That's right. Ooh, an iron sword. Too bad, uh... Ever oh, shit. That is better. Alright, cool. I was gonna be like, too bad everybody's got a lot of iron swords, but... No, that's not true. Road soul. <laughs> if you catch that reference, 10 points to you. Sweet. Let's go. Bomb crank. All right. Another high potion. Awesome. Come on, Haley. Phoenix down, nice. Where is this path taking me? I guess we'll find out. On the next episode of Dragon Ball Z! Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, no. <laughs> Not going further than that. <laughs> oh, did the captain's break? Oh, it's fine. It's just... Just the recording. That's fine. This is all fine. Everything's fine. Everything's a-okay. Why would there be a problem? And Gil, all right. Man, I'd love to be able to use that. And all the stores that are coming up. I mean, to be completely fair, after this, uh, after this cave, this series of caves, um, there will be two towns I can stop at. There'll be Kaipo, and then, uh, I mean, if they're gonna let me reach, um. There will be a, whatchamacallit, a mist as well.
Evan Lee Roth. Evan Lee Roth. Also, if you get that first reference I made, you'll probably get that one. You know what? I, I might not like this place, but in how they've changed the layout, but I'd much rather this than another tour around the city. The I'd have forgotten the name of it, Sacred Cave or something like that. It's in the underground. It's a big ball of ass. It had the demon wall in it, Sacred Cave, something I don't know. I'm glad that I'm forgetting parts of it. <laughs> it means I have to think about it less and experience it less and remember it less. What's the matter? N nothing. Nothing at all, my lord. Your color does not look so well. Yeesh! <laughs> Edward! There is a million different ways you could have said that. I'm just a bit tired, that's all. There's no need to overwork yourself. We'll turn back. No! I just need a moment's rest. That will more than suffice. Let's make camp here for now. Yep, we will arrive in Kaibo shortly. Just hold on a little longer. Actually, let's let's do a save. I'm gonna do an internet. Wait, did we not heal? Okay, we did. I was looking at that, and I I could have sworn I'd seen that they, there wasn't a healing done. I was like, wait a fucking minute. <laughs> That's not cool. Wait, did I actually save? Oh well. If we didn't, cool. If we did, cool. Don't care. Did it again. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, come on, you're in the front row, Healy. Some kind of skilled swordsman you are, Mr. Guard C. Again. Wow. Wowie. Guess Edward and Guard A will just have to do the cleanup work here. Didn't realize you were so nearsighted. I, I'm just getting... I, I don't even want to say bored. I'm just... I just want to get on with it. Like, at least when you were getting through Final Fantasy IV and it was a longer dungeon, 
very often there was like story beats in there so it was actually telling you a story as you were going along and there was impact moments there was moments where you know things happened even during the bosses and stuff like that there was like not just like here we go Whoa! Like, it's already been established that Carly overextends herself, and Edward worries about her. And the guards are the guards. <laughs> and the... and the canvas is my canvas. It's just... I, I don't know, man, like... For all it's all it's puffing out its chest and all its pomp and circumstance and trying to establish like a major conflict and kind of like keep it under wraps without really saying much of anything. Oh, what happened? There? Um, it's just like it's really not doing a good job of telling a compelling story that I care about. And considering there's already an established set of characters for existing fans like myself, especially fans like myself who really already care very much for, you know, the old story and its characters, it's not doing a whole lot for to kind of follow up and make you continue to care about them. just a lot of like throwaway stories that could have been condensed into one of one or two chapters but the way this version of the game was presented this was uh this I believe is the PSP version yes yes it is and um, it came packed in with Final Fantasy IV, so I believe the version you got with this was um, like it was. I'm not gonna say remade, but it was definitely um, done from the ground up in terms of uh, graphics, sound, so on and so forth. Uh, much like some of the PSP remakes of, like, say, Final Fantasy 1 and 2. Uh, it's the same idea. And, uh, you also got something I think was new to this version called the Final Fantasy 4 Interlude, which bridges uh, Final Fantasy 4 and the After Years. I think it was a first for this version. That's why I first picked it up. Nice crit, Guard C. Making up for lost time, are we? Is this where we just came from? I just went back the way I came, just a different route. Ugh. I just want chests, man. That's it. I just want chests. Ooh. Just they already had like I, and it's like I said, they already had an established story. They already had an established set of characters. All you really needed to do was reestablish new stakes and reestablish a new threat, and that was it. That was all you had to do. And then everything else would just kind of take care of itself from there. But this, like, Steel Magnolia style of storytelling without really telling anything each time and just making everybody go, Oh my goodness, there's a new threat, possibly, because Moon. And it's like, oh, God. 
God, yeah, you're right, but also, like, come on, man. Like, I can only stare at the moon and go, <gasps> so many times before it gets old. <laughs> you know? Like, see, here's an example, because that happens a lot. However, there was some new stakes when the lunar whale was lifted out of the ocean, and everybody had a good gasp moment, and that was the last we heard of it. Basically. It's like, why? That could have been something worth panicking about. The new moon comes out, and everybody thinks that's a central part of the thread. Why not go check out the fucking moon and hop on the lunar whale and go investigate? And then the lunar whale just kind of disappears itself? That's worth freaking out over. Silver breastplate. Ooh. Pretty sure we can put that on Edward, and we're going to. But if not, then that's going straight on Haley, because I'm pretty sure it's the only other person that should be wearing it. Doing that stuff with the equipment was definitely the right choice. This this dungeon stretch went on for way too damn long. And I think it would have been a much different story if I was not properly equipped. I mean, I don't think I would have struggled per se, but I don't think it would have been as easy as it has been. Holy shit, man. Now I'm just sick of it. This encounter rate's been a problem, too. Oh, okay. I heard about that character. I just didn't remember that it was in this cave that they were... That they were there. All right, let's head off the Kaipo. And it's back to goblins and porcupines. Hi, Kaipo. Am I ever glad to see you? Harley? Harley! Your... Your Highness. That's desert fever, no doubt about it. Oh, this bullshit again? Ugh. It happens to people on long journeys all the time. First they get fatigued, then the fever hits the second they set foot on sand. Then, we must get a sand pearl. Oh, you know about those? I've only heard about them from my grandfather's old tales. There's a monster known as an antlion that lives in a cave near Mount Hobbs. Supposedly, you can get sand pearls when it lays eggs. I've also heard that it that antlions only lay eggs during a full moon. Oh, no. I'll leave right now to bring one back. Would you be able to watch her until then? Of course, but you better give up on the idea of leaving today. Get some rest first. We can't have you getting sick, too. That's true. I fucking hate this. <laughs> Anna, tell her. It's been quite a while, hasn't it?
<laughs> There's a guy in the back where the house is going, SHUT UP WITH THE HARP ALREADY! SOME OF US ARE TRYING TO SLEEP! Anna? Anna, why must you be so sad? Anna? What are you trying to tell me, Anna? Can't even tell that, you spoony bard. Oh shit. Tell her! Anna wants you to live, Edward. What? What do you mean? I'm as alive as I've ever been. <laughs> Take a good hard look at yourself and then tell me whether or not that's really true. What? You know what to do. Tella. What could I be missing? Uh, mm. Harley. The fever is getting worse. We need that sand pearl as soon as possible. I will get it no matter what it takes. Keep an eye on her for me. Highness. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Don't be ridiculous. Just stay in bed for me. I'll bring back the medicine you need. This wouldn't have happened if I hadn't forced you to take me. Enough talking. You need to conserve your strength. Please, be careful. Harley! The antlion's den is east of Damsian Castle. You're traveling to Antline's Denton, yes? Yes. Let us accompany you, your highness. No. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> I need you to stay here with Harley. But, my lord. Are you fucking kidding me? Please, I'll be alright. Yes, your highness. This is my own problem. One that I'll fix myself. Are you... Are you high? Oh. We went from stacked party to struggle bus. Oh, fucking aboard. Oh no. I hate this for me so much. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I better be getting another party member. Move it. Can't believe they're making me do this shit.
Well, this went from... Man, I'm glad it went like this because it's significantly easier than I thought it would be to fuck this. In no time flat. Oh my god. Edward, if you wanted to do something to make me strongly dislike you, that was how you do it. Alright, just a second, guys. I keep saying that as though... Like... You guys actually notice the time passing. You really don't. Because I paused the recording. <sighs> I hate this so much. I smell like condiments. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, still hitting like a truck, huh? Oh my god. I just need to run from every difficult battle. I... oh my god. Edward is not equipped to go anywhere alone. He is a bard for fuck's sakes. There's zero reason for him to be going anywhere alone. So much so that he was never in your party. Like he was never solo in Final Fantasy IV. And so much so that he eventually was removed from the party. Like... I'm just... I... There are no fucking words, man. Make me go back through the shit. You know, the best part of going through with a big party is... LOSING YOUR PARTY! <laughs> I cannot fathom who thought this would be a good idea. Sincerely. When shit like this can happen, who thought this was a good idea? Legitimate.
I'm still having a decent time of this, so I guess I'm a little bit grateful, but at the same time, like... Chess, right. Uh, yep. And then there's the entrance. Sweet. We managed it. Now we need to go over this way. Okay. And then save again. I have no idea. I absolutely hated the end line cave. This was because I had to go through with Tella and uh, what was it? Tella, Cecil, and uh, Edward. If I'm not mistaken, or was did I have Riddy as well? Nah, I don't know. I didn't like this place. Well, here I am. The end line's den. Somewhere deep in this cave, the antlion should begin laying its eggs when the moon is full. What is the phase right now? Is there a way that I can see that? Ah, oh, there it is. Full, ah, it already is a full moon. How about that? So I just need to get over there as quickly as possible. While still getting all these chests, because no way I'm not, I, no way I'm passing up on good items. I don't know how I'm gonna kill the ant lion myself. I truly don't. Yeah, that's fine. But it can confuse enemies. That's that's the main benefit there. I'm still not going for it though. So unless I get like a surprise party member or some shit, um, I'm not.
No, that's right. I just passed up. Fuck. God damn it. Oh. Son of a bitch. <sighs> whoops, whoops, whoops. <sighs> this is fucking ridiculous. Because I decided to use a tent, I now have to either wait 30 minutes of game time or do this shit use tents until <sighs> glad I got a bunch of tents Can go, I guess. So now I do have to haul ass. I officially have 30 minutes of game time in order to get to the center of the antlion's den. out of here. Aw, oh, attack is lowered. Okay, fine, whatever. Fine, whatever. Go away. What? What, the, it's not gonna attack me? Perfect, now back to Harley at once. It, it didn't attack me? Are you fucking kidding me? All this shit? I was expecting a boss battle. I'm glad. I'm glad, but I was tense. And now I find out I didn't really need to be. Just run away from everything. Fuck it. Why the hell? Oh. Now we gotta go back to Kaipo, right? So we gotta do the waterway again. go back and forth through I had to go back and forth through the waterways three times now so every chapter I think I've hit the routine there's no way this game's gonna throw something at me that's gonna just annoy me more than I've already been annoyed Like, there's no way, right? There's absolutely no way. This game's just gonna, you know, find its footing and just continue to do the same thing over and over again, right? My, my, my. This is a rare visitor, isn't it? Oh, here's our boss battle. Who would have expected a rich nobleman coming through here? 
Sorry, gentlemen, but I don't have anything you'd be interested in. Wrong. You liar. What about that shiny thing in your hand? It must be worth a mound of gold in the marketplace. Wait, this is a desert fever medicine. It would serve you no purpose. Ah, so it is something valuable. Valuable enough to give up your life for it? Ah. Uh. Oh, great. I didn't do anything. He just jumped right in. <sighs> Oof. Where am I? The waterfall must have sent me all the way here. The exit's straight ahead. I hope you're still hanging on, Harley. Wait, so this is your idea of, like, a mercy? Yeah, that's what this is. This is a, their idea of a fucking mercy. Oh, we realize that three times it might be too many fucking times. Here, have a skip. <laughs> Christ. Oh, man. I, I can't even with this game. There are no words. Ah, I remembered what the, the the name of that place is now. It's not Sacred Cave, it's Sealed Cave. Now I remember. Just like, it took me being annoyed and aggravated to that degree to, to get the name back. Oh boy, oh boy. It's about that time again, isn't it? Let's uh, let's try and see if this wraps up the chapter, and then uh, if not, then we'll wrap up. We've got the sand pearl. Quickly, shine its light on her. So wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm gonna take a moment here. If all you needed to do was shine the light of the sand pearl on it, could it not stand to argument? that the last sand pearl we used in Final Fantasy IV to heal Rosa could have healed every subsequent case of desert fever going forward. Like, why not just hold on to it and just heal people here? It looks like ev everybody's been living here. Fucking Christ. Harley! I'm just saying that because I want to avoid that trip. <laughs> Harley is exposed to the light of the sand pearl. Your Highness. Harley, thank goodness I made it in time. My deepest apologies. This is all my fault. No, Harley, you did nothing wrong. Oh, and then he collapses. Ugh. Your Highness, you're awake. Luckily, this doesn't look like a case of desert fever to me. Now it's my turn, is it? I apologize for worrying you. You've gone half a way around the world for me, my lord. Why did you put yourself through this? You're the one who's pushing yourself too hard here, my lady. You've just recovered from illness yourself, and yet here you are staying up all night by his side. What? You promised me you wouldn't tell him. Harley, you didn't have to do that. 
Uh, of course I did. You brought me the sand pearl and, um, uh, I mean, it is my duty as your secretary, my lord. Thank you, Harley. You folks are headed for Baron, aren't you? The ship should be departing pretty soon. Oh yeah, that dock on the side. That's brand new to this game. I forgot about that. It's over to the west here. Or east, rather. Why didn't we just go there? Like... Want to go to Baron? Well, you've just made it with seconds to spare. All set to go? Yeah, let's fucking get out of this shit show. Off we go then. Raise anchor, men. High eyes, sir. How are you feeling? Just fine, my lord. But what about you? I could hardly feel healthier right now. Indeed, healthier than I've been in many years. Sir? Oh, sorry. Just reminiscing about the past a little. I see. Is something the matter? Your Highness, what do you think about that moon? Is that really the same moon? The same moon from before? The Lunarians. Golbez. The man in black. The one who once took Baron hostage and used it to take the crystals. In the end, he left the planet along with his moon. You know about that? So it is true. I simply conducted a little research of my own. How much more do you know? I know certain theories regarding magic in airships, claiming that they were gifts from the moon, not discoveries made by people here. Impressive. But this moon, it looks different to my eyes. It's not the same one as before. Not the one I remember seeing in the past. I must agree. Captain, Fabulian ship off our port side. Haha, <laughs> let's show them what we've got, my lads. Aye, aye, sir. Fabul? Is that Yang? The king of Fabul? Yes. You could not find a stronger or gentler monarch, nor one half as brave. Edward! Are you sailing for Baron as well? Yes, that's right. Their destination is the same as ours? Indeed, Fabul has picked up on the same signs we have, no doubt. Ah, what a shot of confidence knowing that he's on our side. So something must be afoot in Barrett after all. My lord, Master Yang's ship is falling behind. What happened to them? Could there be some trouble on board? What's wrong, my lord? Are you cold? No, I'm alright.
And there's suddenly a dock over there, too. Who goes there? How rude of you. You fail to recognize King Edward, ruler of Dancian? What? I'm here to see King Cecil. May we pass? We wish to speak with His Majesty personally to discuss the reply we received from his messenger. Very well. You may proceed. been a long time since we last met, Cecil. It certainly has, Edward. Quite a long time indeed. Is something bothering you, Edward? You can take it easy here. I, I appreciate your kindness. Come now, Edward. To what do I owe the honor of a visit from the King of Dancian? I have come to speak of the meteor. If that is why you are here, then the answer is the same as the one my emissary gave you. You have nothing to worry about. Please let Baron handle the matter. And why should Baron handle it? Do we have a trust issue here, Edward? Of course not. Superb. I'm glad you understand, Edward. I knew I could count on that. Something in the matter? What are your thoughts on that moon, Cecil? What do you think about it? I believe it portends ill times ahead for all of us. It reminds me too much of past events that haunt us to this day. Hmm. All the more reason, then, that I hope you will allow us to handle the matters concerning the fallen meteor. I see. Baron has a mandate to govern over this land, to keep it at peace. Of course, but if you ever need to consult with me, please do not hesitate to do so. Thank you so much for taking the long journey to my domain, Edward. If you'll excuse me, then. Ah, one more thing. I could not help but notice that Queen Rosa is not with us today. Yes, she's not very, feeling very well, I'm afraid. Is that so? That is troubling news. There's no need for alarm. It is nothing life-threatening. Is Prince Theodore doing well? Absolutely. He's out of the castle for training right now. That is good to hear. My wife and I would expect nothing less from our son, after all. Now then, I wish you safe and pleasant journey home. Yes, my lord. Ah, I just remembered. Guards, please present King Edward with the gift we discussed. Yes, sir. From the king, your majesty. We've never had a problem with receiving gifts from... Random gifts from a bearing king, ever. What is this, my lord? A token of our friendship and of my appreciation for your visit. Please accept it. I appreciate your kindness. In that case, I have also brought a souvenir from Damsian. Flowers, how befitting of you, if you, if I may say so. Is something the matter? Oh, nothing. 
I'm glad you like them. There's something wrong with those flowers, aren't there? Or isn't there? Until we meet again, Edward. Certainly. Do take care. Your Highness, what is the meaning of this? We're going home. Your Highness, let's go. Your Highness, what was the meaning of your behavior in front of King Cecil? That person was not Cecil. What? The real Cecil would have known what my gift really was. What do you mean? I mean this. Are you sure that was wise? The voices are coming from the flower. There is nothing to worry about. Though he was acting extremely suspicious of me. It appears he came here personally just to check up on matters. Weaker creatures need to be more cautious. Damsian is a hub of commerce, not of war. Its military is no more than a mere ceremony. Seizing it will be a simple matter. I see. So the fire crystal is ours any time we wish to take it. What is this? It's called Whisperweed. You can use it to hear voices and sounds from faraway places. I put a bloom of it into the flower floral arrangement that I presented to Cecil. Overconfidence is ill-advised. It is not overconfidence. My plan is already underway. Plan? The gift Cecil gave us. You must be curious about it. Of course. Well, I must disappoint you, for this box can never be opened. Are you already aware of its contents, Your Highness? If my hunch is correct, yes. Then this contains a, a Carnelian Signet. It is the very item behind the tragedy that once befell Miss, by Cecil's unknowing hand. Holy heckin', I had called that one, like pretty pretty solidly and I didn't even know it it is the very item oh yeah I already said that your highness captain up ahead whoa what's that my lord did did Yang ship run into that oh no Leviathan And that is Edward's Tale. Alright, well, I guess it's a good place to stop it. Let's see, as we went a fair bit over today, but that is okay. That is okay. So let's go ahead and save. And we'll pick up next time. Oh, 
We'll pick up next time on the, hopefully, last chapter. But uh, we shall see. We shall see. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you next time.